Uh, this event is beneficial for nonprofit leaders for two reasons. One is that it goes over the economic um, status of nonprofits, the size and scope, um, their revenue sources, as well as their workforce information. So it's it's helpful for nonprofits to know who's out there, what are the similar nonprofits in their um, NT subsector out there, uh, as well as it's also reporting on a statewide survey of nonprofits and how they we're doing financially, fundraising wise, with their service delivery um, and their capacity building needs over the last 12 months and projections for the next 12 months. So nonprofit leaders can see how other nonprofits responded to the survey, as well as um, uh, it provides recommendations and we'll have an expert uh, panelist respond from nonprofit leaders as well as funders and local government representatives respond how we can better support nonprofits. My mission and passion is to help people run more effective nonprofit organizations and to prepare students as well as um, help accelerate master students' careers in the nonprofit sector. I ran nonprofits um, before I went back to school to get my PhD. Um, mostly did behind the scenes work of nonprofit operations. So whereas people are really passionate about missions of animal or human service nonprofits, my pa passion is behind the scenes. And so um, there have been a variety of other statewide surveys that have been done in other states. Um, there hasn't been done one done in Louisiana for a few years, as well as there has never been one done about the impact of the pandemic or um, their operations of, of, at this state in the pandemic. Um, my colleagues and I, um, in the early days of the pandemic, we did case studies of nonprofits in the early months of how they were responding. Many nonprofits are on the front lines, um, they're serving most vulnerable populations in our state. And so we published a book um, about the impact of COVID 19 on nonprofits. And during this publication, I looked at a lot of these studies across the United States. involvement in this report has been to help with uh, collecting data and then taking that data, cleaning it and analyzing it, and then putting it together in a way that is visually appealing for others in the world. So that helps with like being able to do graphic design for different icons within the report. So it helps to further paint the picture of what nonprofits have experienced and from what we've found in our data. I got into this position because I was very interested to know more about the back end of um, teaching in the nonprofit sector. And it's a relatively new field and there's more and more research that comes out every day. And to be able to see that from a behind the scenes perspective was um, very intriguing to me and what prompted me to, to look into this position. I've been interested in this survey because I am an up and coming nonprofit leader and I'm getting my master's in this, um, in this field. And I think it's really important to be able to understand the challenges that we have faced as a, um, as a society over the past couple of years and to be able to do something about it. I found that really there was a, there was a, a lack of these studies in the state of Louisiana. And so I really wanted to provide this data to help nonprofits, um, nonprofit leaders, funders, capacity builders to be more effective in helping and supporting nonprofits in our state. The surprising thing was is that um, on the economic data, which we got all from the IRS, is that there's many more uh, registered nonprofits than are operating in our state. And so in many regions, there's a select few strong nonprofits that are that are operating, that are doing the bulk of the work. Um, and so, you know, often there's rumors around duplication of services. We didn't really see that um, in our in our economic data. That that there are a lot of robust healthcare organizations in our state. Those tended to be the largest nonprofits. Um, and then things that weren't so surprising is that nonprofits, although they're very resilient in our state, as we've seen as they've gone through the pandemic, as well as many hurricanes, um, and they're still serving, um, that they've, they've had challenges with staffing and funding um, and some financial challenges, especially the smaller ones, but they're on the mend, they're improving. Um, and so we'll be talking about those findings more in detail and their recommendations for the people and their capacity building needs. 
Another interesting finding is, is that nonprofit workers make up a large percentage of, of a lot of industries within our state, within education and, and human services. And so, um, so we are a huge economic force with um, over 11% of workers in the state. Well, the event takes place on June 10th from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. and includes a continental breakfast. Um, they, if the event is completely free thanks to the support from um, the, the LSUS Foundation, the, the Office of Continuing Education, and we're offering this in partnership with the Louisiana Alliance for Nonprofits. Um, and then also, um, thankfully, I, my research is sponsored by the Norman A. Dolch professorship. People can register for this event on the Department of Continuing Education's website. So it's lsus.edu slash CE and there's a registration link there. But um, spots are filling up fast, so register today. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Carpenter, and we look forward to hearing all of your findings um, next week. Thank you. Thank you.